In this video, I will quickly show you how to add third-party effect plugins and VSTs in FL Studio. People who have just started out with FL Studio often ask me this question, so here's a simple set of instructions on how to do it. It doesn't matter if it's a VST or effect plugin, the procedure is exactly the same. The first thing you have to do is decide where you want to install your third party plugins. You can either use the default location or make your own. Typically, when installing a plugin, it will install to the default location. However, some plugins want to install to a different location by default, so it's a good idea to always specify the location when installing. Don't be too trigger happy when you want to click that next button. In this case, we're going to create our own folder. Let's call it My VST Plugins. Next, install your plugin of choice. When it prompts you to select your VST folder, select the folder you just made. You will typically be asked if you want to install the 32 or 64-bit version. I recommend using the 64-bit versions if you have a 64-bit system. If you need both, or if you're not sure which one you'll be using, then just install both of them. Once the installation is complete, you'll notice that a file has now appeared in the VST folder we created. Not all plugins will have an installer like this, though. Sometimes, especially with some free plugins, there might just be a few files in a folder. In that case, just copy it into your VST folder, like this. Next, let's install an effect as well. This is a free Spectrum Analyzer plugin. I will show you the difference between VSTs and effects in a bit. In order for FL Studio to find your installed plugins in this folder, you'll have to do the following. Go to Options, Manage Plugins, and then click here to add a new folder. As you can see, the default folder is already present. The next thing we have to do is click here. I always recommend turning this on. Next, click here to start searching for installed plugins. If you decided to install the plugin into the default folder instead, then you only have to enable Verify Plugins and then start the scan. If you installed a VST, you can load it into the channel rack by clicking here and then select More Plugins. Any new plugin detected should appear in orange text. To load it, simply double click on it. If you installed an effect plugin, then you'll have to load it on a mixer track instead. It's basically the same procedure as before. You click here and then select More Plugins again. There are many alternate ways to load plugins and effects in FL Studio, like the plugin picker and so on, but I won't be covering that in this video. You can also make some plugins easier to get by adding them as a favorite. I already have a video that shows you how to do that, and you can find that link in the description below. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe too if you'd like to see more videos like this. This video was made possible thanks to our supporters on Patreon. You can help us make more videos like this by supporting us on Patreon. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description below. 
And as always, if you have any questions or if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, then just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.